you for joining us for this segment of Restora. This is on wrist therapy. We're going to work with some sustainable ways in which you can reduce any wrist inflammation, any carpal tunnel syndrome, and also be able to sustain your practice being on your hands with straight-ish arms, hopefully for the rest of your life. Katie's going to go into child's pose for a nice wrist stretch. Uh, this is something you can do on your mat, even in the middle of class, if you feel like you've um, overworked your wrist. So she's going to turn her fingertips back. We're going to have your elbows really come in close. If the elbows flare out to the side, it's really not doing much for the wrist. So you want to come onto the top of the hand, give this bend, maybe a 90 degree if you can, bend in the wrist and then pull the elbows in close. Okay. Another thing is that as Katie comes now onto her belly just for a moment she is going to get lifted in a cobra pose you can do it in any shape but she's going to do cobra on her fingertips so as you get up into the fingertips and she's creating this carpal tunnel I can literally fit my middle finger underneath her wrist right now and you're trying to like suck the floor up inside of your hand you're literally squeezing all five or however many fingers you may have you're squeezing them in and creating a lift in the palm in the wrist okay as she comes on to all fours we're going to give you a, a little bit of a, a soft landing for the wrist this is if you feel a little bit of pain there, but you haven't really had an injury. The soft part's gonna go at the back heel of the hand, pouring weight into the fingers. I would suggest that if this is something prolonged for you that you're needing to use these props, then please do it on both sides so you don't start finding imbalance in the shoulders or through the arms. Another option, this is just a washcloth rolled up with rubber bands on each end and this is again going to also be a softer landing for the wrist doesn't go necessarily just through the the carpal region but also covers the outer edges of the wrist and then it pours a little more weight into the finger bones we're wanting to not compress the wrist at all but push the weight into the fingers even clawing down with your finger pads when you're doing your practice these tip edges of your fingers so if you're pushing weight into the finger pads forward you're not going to create compression back here you want to think about isometrics we talked about isometrics in the foot therapy same thing here you're wanting to think about this this radial area of the wrist and the ulna area of the wrist squeezing toward each other and giving a little lift in all of these compressive shapes the next one if you have suffered from a, uh, a a serious wrist injury you're starting to heal you're you're not as symptomatic and then we're going to get onto uh, the heels of the hands are going to go on a sticky mat slid underneath the yoga mat and now we're really pouring weight into these finger bones and always modify your practice by coming onto the forearms even whenever your neighbors and teacher are instructing coming onto your hands just do your work from here this is probably the most important part of this segment which is as Katie comes onto all fours you're bending your elbow back. You're bending your elbow back at all times. Down dog, every time that your arm is extended and your hand is on the floor, you're bending your elbow back. You're creating strength in the bicep and the tricep. And this reduces this pain and compression into the wrist joint itself makes the joints and the bones strong. We never want to lock a joint. We never want to hang into a joint. And that is good therapy. Thank you for joining us for this segment of wrist therapy. We look forward to having you for future ones. Please subscribe. Namaste.